hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you what I think is an outstanding free Stellplatz in Nuremberg and um, let's go straight at it. Now it's 6.30 in the morning, you can hear the birds singing, you can also hear a bit of noise from the road behind me. This uh, Stellplatz here comes with its own petrol station there and that is quite unusual so if you need some fuel incidentally if you need to put some air in your tires now in germ in your um or bike tires or your car tires uh, now in germany you've got to pay for it. it costs a euro it was free first time i've ever seen it paid and they won't allow you to do it, put air into your bike tires anymore just make that little point could come in handy to know i found out the hard way and uh right so we've got some bins here for glass just the job because I've, I've been carrying around this glass with me for some time so I'll be able to dump that off and this is it this is the free Stellplatz do we, we have a sign somewhere there must be a sign I can't see it but anyway it's gone um, oh no it's further down that's where it is and uh, so this is pretty empty now but yesterday it was absolutely packed today's the 2nd of May yesterday was the 1st of May so it packed up to here down there but not only that it packed so really tight around here everywhere obviously people just ignoring the signs and uh, anyway so um, so this is where it is now when I show you the location though oh absolutely brilliant so we've got the we've got this VW and behind it we've got my vehicle there my my Heimer and uh, so walk down here you can see it's in a park and here this is part of what is used by the uh, Nazis as the Nuremberg rally grounds but I'll show you that as I get a bit closer now as you can hear there is a little bit of noise well more than a little bit of noise that might put off a lot of people I do appreciate that this is something which happens it's everybody is different so there you go there's my vehicle I put it here I mean it was it was pretty empty when I first came here but what happened was there was somebody with a with a uh, was a um, the VW uh, the bigger one, the crafter, uh, what do you call it? I've forgotten the name of it now. Uh, the, the, the camper van with a long trailer, so I've parked mine there. I had to leave my bicycle there because I've got so much junk in the back of my van. Uh, anyway, yes, they're totally packed, but it's also because it's close to the trade fair. This means to say that, um, that you can get people, lorries parking here or vans uh, parking here for the length of the trade fair they park here because they brought their stuff with them they come down here now there's a sign somewhere and it says there was definitely a sign here I mean what, what, what happened to it who, who who's any of the oh there it is you see you've got a P sign there it's behind the vehicles and it says motor hope there we go and uh, we and it says motorhomes only only that get some cars of course these are campers here so now uh, because of yesterday there's a lot more junk now some people on park for night complained at the amount of junk that there was lying around i think this is largely because it's used by people from the trade fair now it's a bit unfortunate to compare today as well second of may because it was absolutely packed here yesterday i got on my bicycle i went into the center of nuremberg i came back around four ish something like that and stacks of people absolutely packed they all brought grills with them and as is germany you've got people from all sorts of countries coming here uh, so it probably looks worse today than it does normally now I'll take you down to 
the lakeside. There's a number of lakes here. Oh, well, that's there. So, this is a pit for uh, use by uh, coals, which uh, used coals from and it's, and it's burning. So when when you uh, the stuff you take from your grill, you sling it in there, and maybe they come and collect it. Maybe they don't. But there is quite a lot there. And so we've got this lake here. This is called Zilbertsee. There's two geese. Let's hope they're not dangerous, these two geese. Little joke there, because the geese aren't dangerous. At least I hope not. It might be the first time. Now, how about that for an idyllic looking scene? Looks wonderful, doesn't it? But there's a problem with this lake and I'm going to show it to you now. Baden verboten, Lebensgefahr. So, swimming forbidden, so risk, risk of death, or, uh, danger to life. Is, well, why is that happening? Because here, um, in the 1930s, this was to be the site of the largest stadium in the world. So this was part of the Nazi... Um, rally grounds so the stadium was due to be built there now the nazis weren't very good at project management project management is when you decide how things are going to be built so the materials arrive on at these times somebody plans it all out and uh the people at the construction crews are available at these times the money comes in in these tranches etc and so they dug a big hole, uh, didn't get finished, and then there was the war, and, uh, and then uh, that was the end of the war, nobody wanted the big stadium here any longer. And uh, because in 1939 they stopped controlling groundwater seepage, it filled up with water. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. Only that, because of the fighting here and the bombing, and... Uh, they, they put a lot of the stuff from the old town here and th so this became um, a dump effectively for materials from the war. thing was there was things in it which were poisoned and so um, materials which so anyway so the water groundwater would seep through these materials and it ended up producing this lake which is now poison. Now, I had a look at some old newspapers and I found one from 1963 where somebody went in there swimming and actually died as a result. So, uh, the wildlife, as you can hear, it's full of wildlife. We've got various species of duck and goose on this lake, but they have evolved uh, and we haven't. So, that is why in the Zilbertse uh, you can't go there swimming any longer but there are the lakes here as well so we'll have a look at that have a walk over there and uh, see what's going on actually in a way it's a pity I brought you here today and didn't film this yesterday <laughs> and uh, the reason being uh, yeah 
yesterday, well I could have filmed it yesterday, I just thought I'd better give it a couple of days trial so I can actually see what it was like to sleep here and um, I like to actually do things from the point of view of experience as much as possible but yesterday here there was no mess at all in the morning okay where the parking is yeah it wasn't there was some papers lying around but not here so uh so these this area here so these are the nazi uh rally grounds and um you know, the, the the main stadium is called the zeppelin Feld is approximately what one half kilometers down there and so nuremberg was chosen probably i think uh, for a number of reasons but the number one reason is the town itself the city itself's got this imperial grandeur to it and so this is great for tourists today and as far as for the nazis this uh, represented um their idea of Ooh, I can't look at this bird. Uh, of what they wanted to sh demonstrate. That is a black headed woodpecker, I think. Can't see it properly. There we go. Oh, hey. Oh, it flew off. Sorry. Oh, what a pity. Anyway, I'd have a. <laughs> anyway, I've got a video of a black headed woodpecker on the site for those interested in such things. So that's the, that's the first reason. Second thing is the organisation in Nuremberg was uh, pretty good as far as they were concerned. So it was, uh, Julius Streicher, who was actually uh, hanged here in 1946, he was the local Nazi Gauleiter, the, the leader. And so because of him, that also had an effect. And another thing it said because of its location is relatively central it's not really that central eh? uh, but uh, okay for people coming from Munich it wouldn't have been too difficult but anyway it's coming from Königsberg for example which is now in uh, Russia um, it would have been a fair hike uh, but but I think well, there's, a, there's a goose helping itself to the rubbish kind of the goose in the rubbish I think these things together um, made it uh, into a suitable location for uh, for these rallies. And the objective is, we're having a rally like this. It's to get stacks of people in here because they wanted to show the the bulk of the people, the mass, but in in which the will of the individual doesn't count. That means to say that, um, that, that they wouldn't be doing any camping, for example. And even East Germany had the same thing. Communist ideology was the same. It's the mass of the people. And it's the dictator who decides what's good. And as a result, then... Um, uh, you, this, you submit it to the will of those at the top. So we've got these lakes here as well. Now, um, Zilberse obviously wasn't here because that formed sort of naturally after the war, but these are the lakes were here then. And now, what we have to the right, can't see it yet, but uh, we won't see it at all, but it's Nuremberg Trade Fair. So when I worked in packaging industry, I used to come here twice a year, and I saw, all the years I came here, I've seen oh, 10 times more in the two days that I've actually been here. Now isn't this great to walk out like this? Hardly anyone around yet, uh, but this wonderful feeling when you get up early in the morning, all these things you can see. Okay, now over to the left, down there, we've got the, uh, the Congress Hall, another Nazi thing that wasn't finished although that they got closer to getting finished it looks a bit like the Colosseum or big version of the Colosseum it's an enormous building again this is the plans of Albert Speer this, and when I think about it I think it's just about the only thing that he did that actually 
survived because most of the stuff he did uh, ended up uh, getting destroyed in the Second World War. So in the Congress, uh, that that is used today. Uh, we have, for example, there's the museum uh, for the National Socialist period here in Nuremberg and these valley grounds. So that's uh, Dokumentation Centrum, and uh, so one can see that. And uh, now they also have noticed that. Um, in fact, I myself actually I slept here um 2012 the one year i actually did manage to visit a little bit in fact it was the very last time i, I came here to the trade fair and september of 2012 and uh, there were people that you could park here but you see there's absolutely no way you can do i think the trade fair is using all of this uh, ground now Uh, view of the lake. Now, it takes, um, it took me around 20 minutes on my bicycle uh, to get into town. I was telling somebody yesterday, oh, it was a really slow, slow ride, but uh, it, okay, it's approximately, it's just under six kilometers. And so maybe I wasn't going all that slowly, because bear in mind there were red lights uh, as well. There's also a uh, underground you can take to get into the center so this is one of the sort of the main marching points here it was built by national socialists so in the middle those vehicles that is closed off and that is for the trade fair now you can see it says the NCC Nuremberg uh, Congress Centre, maybe it is. So that's where trade fairs are held there. It's much smaller than, for example, Dusseldorf. Well, might go for Caravan Salon, or even Stuttgart for that matter. And now we have the other lake, and at the other side of this lake is the a main place where the the Nazis had their uh, uh, rallies. And here we've got the Congress Center, which I won't take you all the way there. We'll just have a quick look at it. Now, isn't it super peaceful here? Can't hear the road at all. For me, um, I think Nuremberg is... Well, I think it's a tourist place, a touristy place. But it is oh, outstanding to, to visit. It's um, utterly wonderful. I'll stick up with some videos of some of the places I saw here. Absolutely amazing place to visit. So certainly something so worth worth trying, worth doing, and with that great place to stop. Now, um, one of the things um, in Park for Night, it's sort of people say um, it's, it was a quiet night, or, or it wasn't a quiet. And with the uh, traffic, I'll sleep. Uh, I've, it doesn't, the traffic noises, well, within reason, of course, but don't bother me. But I do appreciate that people, everybody is different. And uh, so what I think may not be the same as what anybody else thinks. This is, I think, a really important thing. But for me, this is what this motorhome life's all about. You've got this contact with nature right now. We've got, uh, okay, 2nd of May, it's gonna be another really hot day. And, um, but nicely hot, because it gets cooler in the evening, which is uh, something I appreciate. 
and uh, also in this case you've got this wonderful historical uh, city. I would have to, I think I'd go as far as to say, I'm just can't think I cannot think of a better still the city still plants off the top of my head. Um or parking air, uh, motorhome parking, let's call it, because I'm thinking anywhere in just nowhere comes to mind anywhere there might there might be one i just can't think of anything off the top of my head so that is the nazi congress center there unfinished goes out saying i think they're now moving the opera into that i seem to recall reading something uh about that which uh, caused some kind of a, a problem this is another thing with these um Oh, it? Wagner is to a certain extent associated with Nuremberg. I love Wagner. It's more, it's more with Bayreuth, I mean, Bayreuth, which is the north of here. I think I might actually go there next. Also got a Estelplatz uh, relatively central there. Of course, Bayreuth's much smaller than um, than Nuremberg. But uh, um, on the the one with the Apocalypse Now music, the uh, what do you call that? The Valkyrie, and. Uh, on the record, there was also the Meister singer of uh, Nuremberg. I remember when I bought the cassette. You remember what cassettes are? No, it's not the sort of thing you put your toilet waste in. It was used to put these things in things called tape recorders, and you'd listen to it. So when I bought that, it had the Meister singer of, of Nuremberg on it as well. And I always used to put this on when the, the customs stopped me because I thought, oh, well, they think I'm listening to this type of music, then they might they mightn't uh, be so fussy. I mean, I take the Sex Pistols off. Because uh, I thought that might in involve me getting a harder search. Anyway, that was my theory. <laughs> Good, right. You, there are these information uh, panels that have been put up here uh, because on the other side of the um, Zeppelin Feld, where Hitler used to come to in the 1930s, in 2006, that was where the uh, Euro. Uh, no, World Cup, sorry, 2006, uh, was held and some games were held there. So for that, they put these information panels up in German and in English. Now, the noise the frogs are making is this chirping noise. That's because when they're... Uh, it's the breeding season for them. They make this racket. So um, I, I appreciate you know you do something like this. It's uh, obviously it's it's my own opinions. I realise that uh, things like this might not be for everyone. Uh, people might want a Stellplatz with all the facilities. Uh, not to bother about having a pile of Nazi stuff around them and uh, but you know, I'm explaining what I do and what I like and this is what I like so I'm being a historian I like to see this sort of particularly of Second World War so this is great for me great location and uh, for others might think the same there's no facility no, there's no water here I suppose you you need something for your, your vehicle, you might get it from the petrol station. This is the longest video I've ever done on any campsite. I think there was one I did in Germany a, uh, in 2018, which was pretty long, but I think this is the longest one. <laughs> I've ever done.
sort of thing to watching. I'll upload a lot more related to Nuremberg. Also, if you're interested in history, have a look at my history site. It's called History on YouTube. Link below. And there's also a link on my first page to my other channels if you're interested in this type of thing. Thanks for being here today. And all the best from me in Germany.